was on the line and somebody wants it really bad and that is Two people prime in position to get that money right here, right now. We got Best Nest versus Sassy Flygon. What's your opinion starting out here on Battlefield? So, I imagine that this matchup is going to be hard for Sassy because of PK Fire. And Nest is going to aerial as means he can actually fight Luigi up close better than most characters. But I, I am worried about, like, the fact that he has to play like, that kind of close mid-range a lot of times. And mm -hmm. we, we saw Sassy Flygon had no problem getting in on Rob. But now, this is a different matchup. You know, Rob is a big in mobile target, but mm -hmm. I think that just those days where it's like any mistake Best Sass makes or any like good read Sassy like makes can be a lot of damage. I think he has a lot more chances to interact in ways that favor him. It's yeah. just a matter of can he get past PK fires in any significant manners? Or can he trade? Also, these fireballs getting um absorbed is gonna be a problem for me. Definitely can't use it too much because that's like 10 damage in every absorption. Oh he is so another one another one DJ Khaled out here gets not one misfire but two uh, to get himself back in. Honestly, I think that this matchup is playing out exactly how I was expecting it. BK Fire is great anti -air, uh, a great option against smashing landings, and it's uh, the neutral B, the PK Flash, the fast portion of it now, is actually a good way to answer Luigi on landings. We saw it a lot, but Sassy Flash, you see right uh -oh. there, once again, oh, it, no. it's a good option to beat out landing uh, down Bs, and he's going to use that a lot against Sassy Flygon. I feel like this is just watching like what I imagine is Best Nest doing sub games. <laughs> Yeah, 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 no, this is what I imagine Best Nest doing like sub games looks like. He just does whatever he wants and his opponent just can't handle it. I did not mean to Oh laugh my! almost like the Joker oh. there, but I got through <laughs> don't, don't land directly in front of Beacon Fire, uh, Beacon Thunder 2. It is not good for your life. Uh, oh, Man. Oh, oh, he didn't go for the, the landing option. He decided to go for something off of a throw instead. But... Okay, well, he jumps on stage. Oh, doesn't get punished by that jump air dodge. Like... Best Nest wasn't even close to punishing it. Uh, it might be a kill. Nope, good DI from Best Nest. A lot of Luigi players who down throw down me try to cross you up with the DI, so just keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Now, like, uh, this situation. I don't know, if you're, if you're flag, God, you have to think yourself, all right, what's, what's my game two plan? Because game one plan, using some fireballs didn't work out. He couldn't find a chance to jump in because Best Nest was very consistently, like, anti-airing him with his aerials, or even just using some of the PK fires. So it's like, maybe you play more grounded. Maybe you look to, like, Wait out for like a, a jump aerial or like a PK fire and then do something. You know, I'm, maybe I'm, it'll get caught by a Phoenix team as well. But you know, that that's lesson learned. Hopefully, after it happens once, at least happened early in a game that was already like losing. Yeah, and I also like good. Even though Vestas died at the ledge with the bounce smash eventually, that was such a good stall. That was a way to challenge like Flygon's knowledge on how to deal with Ness off stage because he he dipped so far. And he kept controlling him at the ledge. He finally got the he finally got the hit. But that is good knowledge. That down B has been a good answer somewhat to PK Fire. But game two, best believe Best Nest is gonna start just throwing them repeatedly so he can get hit by a few. I'm surprised you can go play in the down Baruto there to kill. I mean, Baruto there is but yeah, no, the, the PK Fire like because like it kind of clenched with down B, but then he gets hit at the end of it. Um, we just know it's not really worth it. Yeah. And even though, like the reward on like down B isn't even close to the reward on PK Fire. Yeah, because, like, the big thing is if you throw out PK Fire, right, and they go for down B, if he's trying to move in, maybe to trade with Best Nest as he tries to challenge him, what does Best Nest just do? Walk slightly this way, throw another one. Because if you want to keep coming at me, you just took, like, 20% for free for deciding to do it twice. So that's on top of the already PK Fire tick damage. I think that <laughs> that Sassy Flygon's got to be careful with that going into this next game because Best Nest is going to take full advantage of that and... He's just got to be careful with getting blown up like the way he did. <laughs> Best Nest really yeah. took advantage of that bad landing with the PK Thunder 2 and just ran with the game from there. See, a game like that for game one is kind of like an eye-opener where it's like, all right, you have expectations, right? And the expectations are probably blown away. And you have to kind of recognize, all right, so this is actually the level of opponent fighting. This is the speed they're playing at. And you have to make that very quick adjustment. Whereas, like, when you have enough time to. Yeah, so exactly. either game two, you can really make the adjustment or this could be a very quick 3 up. Oh, good. That was a very good mashing SDI to the right. You saw that he was able to maneuver himself out of position for that forward smash. Uh, a lot of people don't SDI that good enough, which is really bad. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. luckily for him, he got out of there. Still at 0% on this stock. So, oh, oh no. Dip, dip run. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Oh, almost. I think, like, if he jumped or something, you know, Bastos is just going to go for it. And Assassin didn't punish it or anything. He's just too, I think he's too scared now after that first one. I don't blame him either. Yeah. Gets, I gets his one hit ends up get up attack. That's a bad sign. It finally finds a... Fi oh, that's <gasps> He's a jump, jump left. Edge guard? Oh, no! Well, um, well, that was an edge guard. Just not the way 
<laughs> that was a jump and a failed edge guard. I still like the fact that he went off stage to try and go get it. Uh, it, it you know, it didn't. It cost him. But I do like the fact that he at least made the attempt to try and do something there. Maybe next time he throws a plunger off stage to put a hitbox out there and clank with the PK Thunder too. That way it shortens the distance and then he can get it down there. It's a grab and doesn't get anything off it. Expecting me, best sense of panic, but honestly, oh. Oh. Nessus has no reason to panic. Oh my god, he's just trying to end it. He's going for a Nessus down air. You know, you don't see that often. Yeah, like it, that's it, honestly, I like it too because Luigi has a just a straight up vertical recovery. So a stock up, it's like okay, cool, I'm willing to challenge that. You're going straight to the blast zone if I hit it. Mhm. Mm uh, okay. The down B not doing much. Yeah, these down Bs have been like. Not that they're not being punished often in the air, but they're not really doing much either. But I guess it's better than getting hit air to air. Rounds a lot, which that said. <laughs> oh, so close. Oh my god. I cannot stand. Like, when, when you're a, a good Ness player knows how to manipulate the camera to their advantage so well. You saw how he dipped the PK Thunder underneath the camera out of vision for Flygon, so he thought he could air dodge in safely, and he almost got destroyed for it. Dude, that was poor guy in Flygon's part. He almost died as a result from that nair. And he's at the ledge. Up smash, down smash. Yep. Get up smash out there. Going for it again. And we yes. got. Let's keep doing it until they yep. until they get by it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. There's no. That's point. gonna be a kill. Back throw. Should will it kill here? Yep. I think the DI could have been better from Sassy. That's a hard situation to be in. You're at a high percent. Yeah, 150 Alrighty. plus. It's hard to like try and play. Uh, the, the mash. The couple. The couple hits after the grab was very smart and good adjustment from Flygon. After that, he decided to go off the platform that time because he's been punished repeatedly by these PK flashes underneath the platform. He's trying to use some Zeros now, but like, it's kind of working, but kind of not. He's only got one grab, I think, this, so, this entire set so far. It didn't even lead to that much, so like, oh. I, I don't know, maybe like Space Marine Zeros or something? I, oh, okay, that works too. Just regular get spot dodge, up B. That is, that is an online moment right there, I'm not going to lie. Can we take those? <gasps> yeah, a little bit out of position to really get a whole lot more out of that, but you take the damage where you can. Uh, he, he's he got to... He basically has to beat Ness on air to airs, which is hard because Ness is... His hitboxes are significantly better because of the extra range compared to Luigi's. So if he pretty much is forced to try and go for some fireballs and stuff, which he's approaching with side magnets more. Yep, okay. He gets on the stage. Now this is like an evenish game. Is that the ledge? The dash tech's gonna miss, but it's not gonna get punished unless... Sassy drop showed early, and this <gasps> that might be it. Oh, so close! If you have a up, maybe, but this is a good light chop setup, potentially. Nope. And I feel like a few times Sassy has like kind of messed up his ledge trap and gone yeah. reversal like up B up airs. And, like, I think a lot of times maybe Sassy should give Bestness some distance at the ledge if he's getting reversal out the ledge. You know, at least enough distance they can't go up like these ledge drop rising up airs. You know, maybe look to like Zare for like ledge chop. Yeah, or like dash just, back and forth. I just went and looked back at it too. I'm pretty like he had a miss input because Sassy Flygon actually ended up turning around doing a forward air towards the stage. I'm pretty sure he meant to dash cancel reverse up smash to beat out that that forward air. So that's unfortunate because of that. He actually got knocked off stage. That could have easily. I don't think it would have killed. I don't remember the percent it was at. But at worst case, the up smash trades and he gets sent to center stage. So that's actually pretty bad miss input for him there. Yeah. And now I'm down 0-2. He did, he did pick up the pace line. He had to get a little bit of a cheeky mm -hmm. kill. But he really wasn't getting caught by as many, like, rising up airs and combo starters from um, Bestness as the last game. So that was helping him a lot. He also wasn't using fireballs as own much because of the, the down B. I want to see a little more Zeros because I feel like that was working for the bit he tried it. And it let him get grabs, which he wasn't getting the first game at all. Or, yep. Honestly, for Bestness, I just want to keep saying the same thing. The PK fires yeah, are good. The, the aerial spacing is like not getting punished enough and his aggressive ledge options have been helping him out a lot oh you know this might look like a trolley option but you do this and you throw off your opponent because they don't know to expect from this matchup now well i don't think that plant is a troll option from from best nest period just because of how good his plant is but it's also like I, I agree it does throw off it does throw off tempo a bit it changes the way that it is approaching the match and it, i also was gonna agree with the fact that i would like to see more zero usage because that was the oh way my it. god 40, that, 56 it's so much it's so much damage it, 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 and this is where plant gets the most work oh. being at the ledge yep so many times sassy is like a dash tag put himself in the corner i think that's how oh, that you oh no well <laughs> Believed a little bit too hard in that one. Accidentally dipped deep into the blast zone and gave up the free stock. With, so that's enormous because Luigi with the lead is significantly better. 
Okay, maybe. Oh, that's oh, just so strong. You gotta be careful right. on the ledge with that. That should be a kill, maybe? Oh, forward to the end of string. All right, that's a new one. I like the custom combo fi finish, too, because of the fact that he's at 100%. Probably assumed he wouldn't get it. I am so surprised he got past that down air fast enough to get the stage. Okay, and that catches the roll. Doesn't kill, though, actually. It's been a surprise if he full hopped that backer, actually, would have killed. But because of, like, oh. the short modifier, it doesn't kill. Oh, yeah, Sassy went way too aggressive. And if Plant's below you, you don't want to fight him there. That's just fast. Yep. Plant is tremendous at two things. One, trading. Two, reverse edge guards. You have to be very careful when you watch Plant. Uh, uh, or actually, tremendous at two weird categories. I should say two things, but uh, it, it's very easy for them to catch you off guard. We try to get aggressive. That should be a down B. That's not going to do it yet because of the weight on Plant, but that is that much closer to KO percent. Yep, and that was... That was... He's still alive. Up he goes really far. Like, you have to two-frame that up here, like, aggressively challenge him. Mm -hmm. But, like... Plan has a few recovery mix-ups with this. I want to see Sassy go for an edge guard there when he had a pretty clear window where like Bestness had to be at a certain place. Yeah. Now I don't know what like Bestness plan is here. Okay, the jab pressure just kind of works. Go for a lot of aggressive player, and he's he's not trying to give a uh, flygon room to work with. I think he wants to just kind of get this game over with a little bit, putting a lot of pressure on attack. And I'm using much zoning either. I've noticed, right? I'm using yeah. more plant just like neutrally and. Uh, side B and down B. It's kind of hard because like Luigi's so good at beating out the small zoning attempts that Plant has because Patui gets beat out by, by Fireball, it gets beat out by Zare, so you don't have to commit and get hit underneath, and that is a free toss to the Blast Zone, sent straight to Minecraft, and now we're going... Alright, so off stream, my pre-prediction seems to be coming pretty close to reality uh, yep. with assistance <laughs> from Best Ness. Um... <laughs> yep, the 3-1, unless it becomes a 3-2, in that case we were just both wrong. Wait, do, do I just do I have the script? Like, am I just writing the script? Oh, actually, all right, never mind. Remember, never mind. we, we okay, honestly, I don't mind the, the saying the plan because he SD did with a huge lead, and then he kind of just started being really aggressive, trying to make something happen. I think he just kind of doesn't SD with this. If he loses this game, now it's like that decision of like, do I say plan because I'm confident they're back to nest? And the real answer is just go back to nest, but momentum yes. is always a huge part of this game. Yes, see, what, one thing that, like, Luigi does so well to remove from one of the best oh, big things that Best has, uh, has going for him, Gentleman Jab sets up tech chases. It's hard to set up the jab because you're getting zoned out by fireballs and zares. Flygon is removing that. And he also can't get ledge trap setups because he's barely been able to keep Flygon at the ledge. So that's two huge, like, go-to flowchart options that he's basically getting removed from him right now. Mm-hmm. I got a hundred percent. It's time for a ledge shop. Use the neutral B. Upset things up. Oh, he sets up too late though, because he dashed forward, giving Flygon time to run at the mid to roll in. And suddenly, yeah, dash attack any aggressive option from Flygon is a good option when the risk score is heavily in his favor. Like, I, there, and I love I love randomly looking at chat whenever things like this happen, but everybody's got like big brain ideas in there. Somebody just made me cackle by saying Plant's big this week is, is existing. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, honestly, I remember when this character came out and like we all knew right off the bat. None of us were prepared good. for that. No, not, not a single one of us were prepared for that plant to be tossed in there. That's a free character, but you know. Oh, I mean, that, yeah, that's a good edge guard though from Best Ness. Before the drop, yeah, nice dude to be edge guard. That's why I want to see more versus Luigi, right? Is when Luigi's off stage, edge guard him. He yes. has very limited during his side B. And the trick of catching him during his side B is actually catching him mid charge. Before you can travel distance, because once you can travel, there's not much lag on it, and it goes pretty far. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of like fighting um, Ike Psybe, where during that charge when he's gathering the time he needs to get the distance he wants, he is extremely vulnerable. Yeah, agreed. Like we were saying before, one of the biggest weaknesses to Luigi is off stage, and you see right there, he forces. Oh, misfire coming in clutch. They always get it when they need it the most. Okay. Oh, yep. Fly got avoiding the, the poison cloud like the plague, because it basically is that will kill you. That's huh. so much damage. It did literally just one quick damage over time. It sets up free traps for best nest if you want to jump. Oh, oh, I thought oh, he was looking for that. the air. Yeah. Let's go for a down air. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, Sassy's not going to go for an aggressive edge guard. He wants to spec neutral. And you know, let's drop working. First time I've seen the down B for uh, this entire... Or is that something that's down B? I was going to use those two with him. But yeah, first time I've seen like that the entire set. And it's a really good way to pressure shield and kind of like... Makes up people trying to be too aggressive. With that said, it didn't get much. 
Yeah, it's an extremely good data tool. I mean, you understand how people behave according to that move. It lets you understand, do they know how to punish it? No, Ooh. you're oh, oh, this that time sucks. No! That sucks in every way, shape, or form. He set up the air dodge beautifully, and he missed the punish. Oh, no. That's... Man, that, that is certified. We are playing this game online. Sometimes people just make those mistakes. Oh, is someone dead at the edge garden? Yep. Yes. Perfect. He read the, the short side be there. I don't think it was even a reaction. I think he just knew the threat of new should be was enough. Exactly. After using that, he's forced to go into a very weird recovery angle. Now he's now Best Nest is getting to a position where he's slowly bringing it back. Unfortunately, misses the up tilt. That could have been a solid amount of damage. Nair beats it out. I like Flygon's right. approach. I, I respect Flygon's approach right now. Even though you have percent lead, even though it's not a large lead, put keep zoning. Make it so Best Nest has to find the gap to get in on you. It, oh, it's a late, it's a good lead trap setup though. Oh, oh no you way! Batman! You just need, honestly, and that's not the first time we saw this game alone, where Sasuke is at the ledge and Best Nest is trying to go for lead trap setup. He's either too slow on something. He's not the right distance, and it gets caught by the roller. Before it was Sasuke rolling in and then getting away from the ledge. This time it's rolling in and just murdering. Mm, right in the face. Man is built different. Gone. Man is built different. Who intentionally looks at like a Patui being charged in front of you, right? But plant, one of the best things Plant has is ledge trapping. Just rolls and just uppies. Like, no, I see you. I'm coming mm -hmm. at you. I see red and I'm gonna do this. But hey, that's a W going to best, uh, excuse me, to Sassy Flygon. My prediction is deleted, and we're yep. going into moving to game number five. But off stream, I was guessing 3-1 in favor of Best Nest because I figured the way Best Nest plays would understand how to deal with this. And we saw it with the Nest the first two games. And we're going to see yep. the Nest come back accordingly here. Uh, however, that does give Flygon some confidence. Even though you beat Plant twice, you still have momentum slightly in your favor. I'm curious to see how this game five goes. This game five is, uh... I, like, the thing is, you'd think Best is gonna win because he won two games where it was Ness, and I think it's very reasonable, but... It's not like the, the second this game was, like, confidently his favor. It was pretty close, so... And really, this is, uh, probably a good stage for Luigi in the matchup, too, right? Like, yeah. I, I don't know about this, but I said... You know, Flygon was definitely doing really good with the Fireball Zone last game. He doesn't have access to that anymore because of Ness's downbeat. Yeah, I think a big missing piece when people are looking over why they're, like, you know, performing negatively or, like, why, like why the best players are the way they are. Confidence plays so much key in that. And if you're moving into a next match, like, thriving on confidence, that makes the whole Rock, Paper, Scissors game that is Smash a lot easier. That being said, this Ness is already looking significantly better by comparison to the switch over to the plant, and that is, should be a first stock going to best Ness. Yep, perfect edge guard right there. Hold him during the side B and suddenly he couldn't make it back anymore. Simple execution. Exactly, but, textbook, just keep it oh, he oh, read. I oh, he read that hard. I wonder if up you would've killed actually. No jumps left, that's have to joke, go yeah. for it. Good, good evasion. Yeah, body block it. Oh no! He misses the tech oh, and no. the body block wasn't even enough to stop him making it back. Oh no. Yeah, and right. that, that is how you lose a tournament set right there. Yeah, that that's just as unfortunate as you could get. He was, oh, big punish. Oh my. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> he just. <laughs> all right, all right, yeah, all yeah, right, yeah. I, yeah. I, you I got that I, much, I, like, I, I, I think probably I was probably like, I'm done. Just do it. I gotta do it, I gotta do it. Like, you know, only up like three socks to one, and you're just like, you know what? I'll give you a free Twitter clip. I think that's what happened. He said, all right, bestness, I lost this game. Twitter clip me if you want. I don't care anymore. I'm wait. I'm just waiting for the camera. I'm all. I'm just waiting for the camera. 